Hey guys, welcome back. It's episode number 10 and we're still at it with the uh, transit. I'm going to be doing more of a focus this episode on uh, road vehicles. So uh, trams, buses, that kind of stuff. I do want to do a lot of the layout for the transit hub. We got a little bit of it done, but still a lot to do. And I've decided that I'm going to make this one like way over the top and complicated. I was kind of saying that in the last episode, but I'm, I have some really cool ideas here. I definitely want to try out. And I did ponder as well on um, what tiles we're going to end up buying. So uh, the city as it stands, we've got five tiles purchased. I would like to buy this one here, that makes number six. I want to buy these two here, so that's seven and eight. And then for the last one, I want to go up and buy this one right here. And uh, that gives us a little bit more room with the farming, because I had a few of you mentioned that if we are trying to work in an industrial rail corridor through here, it might be a little crowded if we do try to um, kind of make a little small farming town. So I kind of agree with that. I think that's probably the best, uh, best, bet of our, best bang for our buck anyway. Go up here, get a little more access to the um, fertile ground anyway. I just want to see what kind of resources you have. There's a button available for that in your info tab. It's got ore, oil, and uh, some farming right here. The farming, it's renewable, same with your um, uh, forestry. The ore and the oil, however, these are finite. You will use them up eventually. Not the end of the world, you'll have to switch your industry over to something else afterwards. But I've had some requests for some specialized industrial zones, so we can definitely tackle them. It's just like as the city grows, we may have to shift it to um, yeah, forestry or something. Okay, let's, um, yeah, let's jump into this, guys. So I'm just going to do a bit of the road lane, and I'll kind of talk about my logic and everything as we go. But like I said, I do have some stuff in mind. And I mean, a transit hub in general, your city might end up needing a few of these so don't feel like you got to copy this like you know to a t you can always do like a smaller bigger version but hopefully there's some takeaway from this that you guys will get i mean they're pretty fun to design too and when they're all working and everything's done it's kind of cool to see just a whole bunch of trams and buses and everything just working working together and if you do a really good job with traffic like that's that's you know bonus points for that right so what i'm going to go for is basically um a little tram kind of stop going over top of the tracks here uh some bays to drop people on and off on both sides and then we're gonna do the same thing for the buses and what i like to do is have the tram tracks maybe go out meet up with that little one-way street right here and then just you know go into the city or whatever and then just in terms of transit lines um we'll probably do maybe one bus line or so at the end of this episode just so we can kind of talk about it i might end up saving all that for next episode though um just so we can kind of do it all at once but we'll start the conversation at least but in, in a nutshell, what we can do is basically think of the city as district um, or like different areas or districts right now. So we could have uh, a little bus line that just goes in through here, picks up people at the train station, because this itself could be um, a small transit hub eventually, and like a little bus line in that little part, and then one over here. And then we can have maybe a big looping line that goes through the whole city as a tram. And then we can have one or two tram lines that just kind of go fall back on themselves and, and whatnot. So I'll show you guys all of this just in case that just went over your heads or whatever, but the goal, yeah, I'll just show you guys some lots of options. Okay, enough chit chat. Let's just build here. So I was staring at um, this intersection here, and I, I kind of thought that was a little bit too steep, especially if we're going to be adding some transit vehicles. It just doesn't seem realistic to me. And I was trying this out, and I th think it'll work really well in this city here. Yeah, so instead of going straight, we're just having our breakaway on the other side. Go one more still. Oh, and I don't necessarily want that to be a one-way road, but thank you. Oop, too far. Getting distracted. Look at all these pedestrians walking across. So that's basically like people using uh, the train station to hop over to the other side. And then by adding like buses and trams and service vehicles, it just becomes a lot easier to uh, to transfer. I mean, all of this, it'll make more sense with a lot of trial and error and as you kind of try stuff out, basically. Gradually bringing the height of that down. That looks awesome. And then what I would like is a way for the trams I don't necessarily want trams right there because I, I really traffic it like i 
don't want it to be to be bad or bottlenecked or anything. So let's take this a bit slow. But the idea of what I'm trying to do right here is just create areas um, for the trams to pick up and drop off people without interfering with traffic on the main roads. Okay, so let's bring the trams across like that. And we'll bring buses across like this. Keep them separate from each other. Just like the song says, you gotta keep them separated. And I'll never do that again. Um, just have some of these bays go across. And I'm gonna use this just for a split second so I can get some tiles in here. And I'll use those for, for some symmetry. And I think that one's, yeah, that's, that's about right. No, yeah, the spacing is a bit off in that one. Darn it, I thought so. Hmm, how do we counteract that? You know what we could do? Um, we could run a pedestrian pathway through that one. Make like a bridge or something, just kind of hide the fact. And just one more. Awesome. So we'll now make that a one way again. Connect these all up get our distance the right way. You'll see there's a small, like, tiny, tiny, tiny arrow on the uh, on the track that shows what direction you're going, just in case you can't, um, can't tell or whatever. Delete that. And so what I was going for here was just a central uh, way in and way out. So all the trams have to go in like this, and they have to leave like that. And so what we can do is we can force trams going back up over that way, but that seems like a little, a little too much, too much effort. I would, I mean, I just want to make it kind of fun. So let's try, let's sneak through it, kids. You know, something like that, just linking back up to this thing. this not way too steep hmm <laughs> now we're talking And remember, I'm just doing this honestly just for the fun of it. Just making this like way over the top complicated. Okay, so your trams are forced to go in through this way. They'll pick up their people. They then go this way and they leave and go up and over if they want to. Or instead, they will um, go this direction. So I guess that's getting upgraded. But no, you know what, I mean, that seems, if you're going down and turning right, that's too sharp of a turn. So you're going to need another way in for trams coming down that way. Which would be that, like that. Okay. And so we'll just make a note that a tram coming down this way, its best match would be the middle platform to get fastest turnaround. Okay, good to know. Now let's um, put a driving road around this so we can still do some zoning and stuff. And then this will be suitable for like parking lots, uh, specialized um, like a tourist zone. We have some requests for that. I don't necessarily want this area to get totally lost in um, you know tall, dense buildings. That's kind of even. Now the parking lots themselves have a walkway path already in them. And because that's not overly even, I'm not going to keep it. What we can do though is fill those areas in with trees. And actually let's make that look a little bit cleaner. A bit of a, a bit more of a proper. There we go. 
Yeah, that's like that looks cleaner. The box, I think, yeah. Nice and dense. I mean, really, this stuff, totally personal preference. Like, if you guys think like, the hedges look a lot cleaner, a lot nicer, you think an open space looks nicer, like, really, whatever you want. I think it's kind of a nice blend, though, the parking lot in with um, with the trees. Well, there we go. That's, that works for me. Yeah, actually, that's really nice. Okay, now let's try and do something very similar uh, in terms of this shape and stuff, but for, uh, for buses now. And like I said, I want more of a focus for trams to turn around and stop on this side. And um, we still will do a few lines over there. And then I want more of a focus on buses on that side. But we're, again, still doing a few, um, few buses up here. And then with the buses, we have a lot more liberty because they um, don't take up as much space. So yeah, just maybe a few. We can have like two stops or something, I guess. I don't know. That makes things a little too busy, I think. I'd rather have the vehicle go up that direction anyway. Is there room for... No, not quite. So that little bit of... Uh... That's okay, though. And then just... Even if we can get one more... Bus thing in here, that'd be awesome. Yep, perfect. Perfect. I love it. And then we'll use the zoning squares for uh, some buildings and the rest. Yeah, I like that a lot, actually. It's cool. Okay, so over on this side, let's bring this now over and across. Bring this down. And I do want to connect over to the one-way road network, so let's start heading in that direction. That's nice. And that can go across now, like that. Oh, this is awesome! And so yeah, down here I'd like to just link up with the one-way roads here and have a tram just kind of make its way into the city. Probably gonna have to move some of this stuff around. But I mean, really, the city when it's this small and this early, like, I don't. I don't mind moving stuff around. Yeah, that's just the littlest bit crooked. It's gonna drive me bonkers. Now, I wonder if we can get these two just meet up. If that's even possible. It is. And then that. Oh, yes. Now, it's a shame we can't get the, um, the roads to line up a bit better, but what can you do? Now, what would that look like? Hmm. It's a very unique intersection. You theoretically have the option to go in and go straight. Yeah, this would only make sense if we made a tram go this way as well as this way on the one way. And for no other reason than just because, I think I kind of want to do that, because that looks really cool. And there's actually not too much anarchy in terms of how the traffic light and stuff works. I can still like comfortably make your way through here, you turn right, no traffic light. If you're going left, maybe you have to wait for a light and you can make a quick right again, which is... Oh no, you can't! Oh, that's perfect, forces traffic that way, oh, I like that. So then we would have, I guess, another road right here as support, and that would be the one way going like that? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a cool, that is a really cool idea. That helps with that traffic. Otherwise, it just forces more cars to use this. I really like that. That's so cool. Okay. Getting sidetracked. Back over here, please. So if you are using the After Dark uh, expansion, you get this nifty bus station to work with. 
I don't necessarily like relying solely on that just because of how much traffic you end up getting with that thing, but I would like to use it nonetheless. And actually, let's move that a little, little, little bit further over. Um, oh, you know what would be really nice is if we lined it up visually with that road. Just so the overhead symmetry works a little bit better. And I think we're going to lose a few of our bike lanes through here. Not the end of the world. Like, your bicyclists will still use um, sidewalks and stuff, but we might put a few of those in afterwards. And they might be like overhead or something like that. I don't necessarily want people parking on um, on that road there, so I'm going to keep that as two-way... Oh, um... Actually, I wonder if this can be two-way traffic like that even. Yeah. That way a bus or whatever can make... Um, I could turn through here. I guess that can still stay like that, even though it could bottleneck. We can do this. Yeah, I think I like that idea. A little silly with uh, that little bit of a bus lane, though. Just because of how short the bus lane is, I think I was going to take it out. Just get the extra turning lane. I think that's a better option. Okay, so we'll frame up a little bit more of this. Excellent. And then we'll have um, an area just in here for our trams to turn around. We'll probably use a bit more of this track to our advantage. Or we can have a couple spots right here. I don't know if I can get that. What? No. That lines up beautifully. Oh my gosh. I did not even realize you could run flush with a six lane road like that. Oh, the discoveries you make when you're playing this game. What? That looks so awesome. So that'll be a, a transfer point for people right there. Love that. And then we'll just go back like this. Fantastic. I honestly cannot wait to see this in, uh, this in action. Can we come on, I saw it. where was it? There it is. No no no, don't give me that distance too short. I know you're in there. Yes. Now that is what we're talking about. I love it. I don't think they're a hundred percent even, so let me try that. I might be tempting fate here, but I'm I think we're on a roll. No, why does that not work now? Weird. See, it only works. That's probably why I've never tried it before, because it's never. I don't think I've ever gotten it to work like this. I don't know what the circumstances would be for that to. Hmm. Alright, well, because we can't get it even, we'll just make it so that we're aware of that and just end it like that. Awesome. So not too many bays, but a few spots for our trams to turn around. So they would go in. It's a one-way network, so you're kind of forced to, to follow that, uh, that path or whatever. But just, yeah, two or three stops. That's perfect. And then um, let's do kind of the same thing over here for, uh, for some buses. Okay, so I think we'll come from down here. Let's go across. Just 
change our spacing. And I'm using the roads that have the trees on them, just so that we don't get people parking here. And that's probably more than enough stops right there. Not that we really needed it, but I'm going to have that um, so that people can use them as like little um, uh, turnaround points. Yeah, I like that. Okay. I think that's basically what we're going for, just in terms of the general layout. You can see we've now got a spot on both sides for our trams to turn around. We've got some areas for buses. Not really that many on this side. More on this side, definitely. And then we've got our trains. And the only thing we're missing really is just, um, I think, our metro. But I think we'll do metro probably next episode, too. Because I think we're not running out of time. We don't have the world of time left. So let's do... Um, some zoning in here, and then we'll do some actual lines. I think we have some time for that. Awesome. So we'll just start with a small specialized zone, and that'll get a few highways in here. Not a highways, um, hotels highways. Oh my goodness. There we go. And then just so that we get a little bit of height, I'm going to put maybe one or two um, office buildings in here. Too. And now let's put in some parks. Fantastic. I want these two to line up. Don't give me that distance too short, bananas. Or why don't we actually just do that instead? I guess that works. And I have to go back into the asset to fix it. You see, I don't have the snap point on that. Um, see how it's like below? I got to change that. I'll do that instead, though. Excellent. Okay, so more parks, more parking lots. This is a very big oversized parking lot. I don't necessarily think we can fit it in, so let's not bother. And I realize this is kind of the access to go onto that bridge, but I still want to have some parking uh, just kind of split from there. And if you guys remember, the parking lots, they do act as a, um, as a park. So it's definitely over the top. I completely agree, but we are having like lots of hotels and like touristy stuff, uh, you know, happen over here. Okay, so let's now specialize this district. And we're going to be doing a um, uh, tourism. And that's what gives us the hotels. And we're going to do a small leisure zone right next to that. And that'll give us um, kind of like some fun nightlife stuff to do. I'll get those to line up. Oh, well, how about that? That lines up too. That's actually nice. Nice. Actually, I might just leave that like this. I think that actually turned out better than I thought it would. Sort of nice big park in the middle. Maybe we can extend some of these pathways. Nice. I 
this kind of focal center point to our area here. Great, we're not going to zone that, but we'll zone this. Awesome. And then back to our districts. Clean that up a bit. Nice. Are there any cool name suggestions? Totally feel free to uh, to drop them. Oops. Have to specialize that. Now this one is going to be a leisure specialization. Cool. So just make them make them uh, close enough together that people can walk from their hotels to some nightlife. Otherwise, yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. Very, very, very happy with the way this is turning out. So let's do a few parking lots over here too. And then now let's drop in uh, some transit lines. There, that's awesome. Okay. So as far as transit lines go, I'm going to show you guys a couple of options. Let me put down the bus depot first. So I just want to... um. Strangely enough, not use this area right here. I actually want to move over here and just kind of talk about buses really quickly. So as far as the bus goes, great for moving people around. You can have your stops obviously a lot closer together than, uh, say, the trains. And it's a lot cheaper to have a bus network in your city. So over here, we have people coming in by train. Now that this is a little bit more pedestrian friendly and walkable and stuff, you should theoretically be seeing some more people hopping from one side to the other. And actually, you know, if we put in a pedestrian path, which I totally forgot to do. You can get even more uh, walkability out of this. I actually wanted to put one right into here, I remember now. Okay, great. So there's that. Like, really, you got to stress how much you want to make this walkable. Like the more more walkable it is, like the better. And I'm trying not to make those arms overly steep. There we Would be nice. I think it's gonna be a bit steep, but just to go, yeah, down like that. Kind of steep, but I think we're gonna keep it regardless. All right, even that's so much better. And then people can use this as a way up over, over as well. Okay. So back to buses. Uh, over here, when the train drops you off, it doesn't really help you all that much because there's actually not a way to get over to where you work in the industrial zone. So what I've gone ahead and done is put in that road right there. And this is just like a smaller version of essentially this guy right here. The goal would be to get our buses and everyone to pick up people off a main road so they're not necessarily on the main road, which would then slow down traffic a little bit. So a train comes off, you pick up your people right here, you head over to the industrial zone. Oops, we go in through here. I'm going to pick one of the more middle roads just so we can get a bit more use out of the um, overall area. It's just, you know, think in real life, like how far do you really want to walk for a um, for a bus? And then I don't want to make this overly in a, inefficient in terms of how long the line is, but I do want to make it long enough that people actually get good use out of it. So we'll go a bit further down. I'm doing more or less one stop per block. And this particular line is going to be one that falls back on itself and will basically go back in the same same direction. So there's the big loop right here. And then now if we want to get back to the transit hub, this is kind of, you know, the same same bus you would take. Not the least. 
If we didn't want to have the stops on the other side of the street, we would then use another line for that. But the layout of this area doesn't really support that, so this is, I think, a better, a better use of the space. There we go. So there's a working bus route. That's perfect. So now that works in conjunction with a train. So I mean, really, like this on its, like, the train will get so much more use. Same with the uh, same with the bus by that by that logic. And you'll see a lot of buildings now are starting to level up, especially the offices. You're going to need public transit in place to get to the highest um, building level. I think level four or whatever. One of those like really tall super offices. That's what you need. And then as far as a bus line is concerned over here using our main hub, why don't we have, say, one start right there. And I don't really think we need that stop. It's a little bit close. We'll just have that one there. And this will also be a bus that falls back um, on itself. And then just so I can show you guys the difference of like a route that doesn't fall back on itself, I'll do one of those after. Yeah, it works for me. And then similar to your um, uh, trains, you can change the color of your bus lines if you want. So if we want, we can go for a uniform color. Say we have black buses, blue trains, and like red trams. Just something like that, right? Whatever, whatever your little heart desires. Or you can just keep them the default color. Totally up to you. And then the buses will leave the, um, where is it right here? And a uh, little depot and head to their destination. Fantastic. All right, so let me show you really quickly a line that um, just kind of loops through and then has uh, another one on the other side of the street. So I'll just create that down here. And this one will not be going through the central hub. Which is no problem. I'm having these stops here close enough so that the uh, passengers here can get off and then transfer over to that line. Say you're going up, you wanted to switch over. Very easy to do. I want to have lots of that just in general. So there we go. So that's one side of the street done. And then we're going to have a corresponding line on the other side of the street. And this is more of like a local route, but if we pass the trams and other bus lines through here, people will be very likely to um, do some line sharing, transferring, like that kind of stuff. So there we go. And so the more interconnected your city becomes, the more people you'll see using the transit and the less vehicles you'll have on the road which especially when you get to a very big city population size like that it'll help you so much like you know if like even 10 percent of your people are not in cars like the difference it'll make especially in like a real city too all right friends well i think i'm gonna leave you here definitely got the start of something amazing happening in terms of our transit hub i think we still need to do probably at least one more episode um i want to talk some some more about uh trains buses and which one in the trams of course too and we'd have to do some uh, metro slash subway as well. So lots to do, but main thing is we got a really cool looking hub. Lots of spots for uh, vehicles to come in, turn around, pick up, drop off people. We got some hotels coming in, so a specialized zone in that sense. Got some nightlife happening over here. We're going to be doing some more beautification and everything when it's all said and done. We'll put in some custom buildings too. This can be the unofficial downtown or something. We're still kind of trying to pick and choose where that goes. And then uh, we'll put in some more bus lines. We have to put in the express link that goes between the university and our main hub. And we got to start, yeah, populating some of these lines. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much it. I went a little bit over on the time. Try not to do too long in these episodes, but a lot to say, a lot to do. But I think that this was a good one. Really happy the way this turned out. All right, guys, let me know your thoughts. I will be uploading this to the workshop. And um, remember, when we're all said and done, that's when I'll do the, um, the double upload. So this one, uh, you will be able to download it only with the DLC type thing. And um, probably two episodes from now, we'll be able to download them. Download them both. All right, guys, all the best. Thanks for hanging out. And I will see you in the next one. Definitely drop some comments, suggestions. I love them. Keep them coming. Sorry I don't respond to them as quickly as I, uh, I should be, but that's my New Year's resolution. I got to work on that a little bit more. All right, guys, take care of yourselves. All the best. Mm -hmm.